According to the public relations officer of the Tamale Teaching Hospital, the industrial action by the Health Workers Union is having a toll on the effective administration of the facility. He confirmed that some wars currently have dead bodies unattended to, a situation he bemoaned. How to get rid of uh, cops, that's the patients who eventually die in the hospital, how to get them transported from the wards to the mortuary is becoming problematic. Fortunately, we have been able to prevail on some of our uh, staff to aid us in decongesting uh, the areas where corpses have been uh, found. And this is actually t uh, having a tool on us. Aside this, a look around the hospital shows that the facility has been engulfed in floods because the workers are not on hand to clean the premises. It was clear that the premises and the various wards in the hospital have not been cleaned since Monday when the strike was declared. According to management, some nurses in a few of the wards have taken up upon themselves to clean the space to maintain hygiene. Basic medical consumables, which are usually handled by the staff, have also run out. New patients are not being registered. And uh, most of the areas that we operate from, that is our wards and offices, have not been cleaned since uh, yesterday. And the place doesn't actually look tidy, but the place looks unkept. Some of the wards, the uh, nurses and other clinical staff are forced to do the cleaning in order to ensure that they have a safe and secure the workplace to deliver their services free, free of uh, infections. And the uh, membership of the union to uh, hold the staff who are in charge of water supply and supplies of uh, logistics and other uh, consumables. As we speak, the clinicians, that is the doctors and nurses, are struggling to get common uh, items such as gloves, cotton, uh, gauze, and other logistics that they need in order to facilitate their work.